now we'll come to the next topic that is isomerism. We have already studied isomerism in organic chemistry in 11th class. What is isomerism? It is the existence of a molecule compounds with the same molecular formula but different uh, structural formula that is called an isomerism. Now in IO, this coordination compounds they also show isomerism and we can classify the isomerism shown by coordination compounds mainly into two types. It can be classified into two types. One is structural isomerism
CN6. This, both, this is a compound in which both the cation and anion are complex ions. Now, its coordination isomer will be CR NH3 six times CO CN6. They interchange their ions. Then, here see, this is the coordination isomer. That means they exchange their ligands, then you will get a coordination isomer. So this type of isomerism is shown only by the compounds, coordination compounds in which both cations and anions are complex ions. So this is coordination isomerism, the second type of isomerism. Only one condition is both ions must be complex ions. Then only they can show this type of isomerism, they interchange their ligands. Understood chromium, if you get ammonia, it will become positively charged ion and cobalt when it is negative ion it will become negatively charged. Okay? So this is coordination isomerism. Now next is linkage isomerism. Linkage isomerism. Now what is linkage isomerism? If one of one, any one ampidentate ligand is present in a coordination compound, then it can show the linkage isomerism. For example, CO NH3 5 times NO SO4 NO2 SO4 then CO NH3 5 times O NO SO4 See these compounds both of molecular formula is the same but here NO2 and ONO are antidentate ligands. Here the point of attachment is N. Here the donor atom is O. This is nitrate N and this is nitrate O. So these two are the linkage isomers. So linkage isomerism is shown by the compounds in which one of the ligand is an ambidentate ligand. Then only it can show linkage isomerism. The linking, linking donor atom will be different. So this is a linkage isomerism shown by coordination compound. Next is solvate isomerism. Now what is solvate isomerism? Here this isomerism arises if the number of solvent molecules are directly attached to the metal atom or be simply present as the molecule present in the compound. For example, if water it is directly attached to the central metal atom or it is just a hydrated, then we call it as hydrate isomerism. If solvent is water, then we call it as hydrate isomerism. For example, Cr H2O 5 times NO2 Cl2. Both the cation and anion are complex ions and they can exchange the 
ligands, then they show coordination isomerism. If an ambidentic ligand is present, that means if the point of attachment will become different, it can show linkage isomerism. And if water molecules are either directly attached or to the metal atom or simply hydrated, then we get solvate isomerism. So these are the different types of structural isomerism.